Okay guys, after a lot of adjustments and playing with the ATC, I replaced the two forks that had gotten broken off by accident. Um, inevitably, I'm sure I'm not the first one to do it, uh, otherwise it would have given me the whole baggie full of uh, replacement nylon screws. But on the back here, you really got to uh, take a look and, and take care of your application and or your application and your release air pressure screws. Um, they come turned all the way out and so what will happen is if the pressure is too high that piston just will move the umbrella at a very high rate and it'll start chucking the tools out which is probably what happened and, and probably why when it did the tool change it literally pushed the tool so far out. Not only does the spinning have a little bit of centrifugal force but that, that piston action can really be quite robust and very dramatic. And so um, I throttled them down so it's a little bit more uh, silky smooth, and hopefully uh, this will work now. So I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna uh, got my tools set up here, one through eight or two through eight, and so I'm just gonna activate and see what happens here. Oh, 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 look at that. All right, let's see. Let's do another one. And so ATC forward will just give me, I guess, um, will give us tool number eight on the uh, carousel there. All right success. All right, it's like 1.30 in the morning, and I think I'm going to wrap it up on a high note right now. Tomorrow, I guess, I'll probably put the fourth axis on, and then maybe we'll put the chip trays and start on the enclosure. But I wanted to get the ATC pretty much set up so we didn't have to mess around with it too much with all the metal shielding on it and everything. I can see there's, there's, there's a learning curve, and I could also see as I run the tools through that, that plate, this plate up in here, um, is not absolutely flat. Some of the tools come in high and low, and I'm guessing I could take some shim stock and probably uh, fine tune the, that uh, plastic fork, the height of that, and possibly even the angle, because some, some of the tools will grab a little bit and some of them go in perfectly. And again, it's just, you know, a little bit of time. It, it's not a $100,000 VMC. Um, and it's a little bit of a learning curve with any, any tool. I mean, you could probably buy a brand new Haas and, and have certain issues. But at the end of the day, things wear. Uh, mechanical equipment wears and wears in and, and uh, may need adjustments down the road. And so this little bit of growing pains up front here, um, hopefully we'll get it dialed in. And it'll stay dialed in. And if it starts hanging up, it's uh, just something we'll keep an eye on and then tweak it. But I... I uh, was <laughs> very surprised when tools started flying tonight. I was like, whoa! But, uh, you know, we'll just keep rocking on it, and um, we'll share with you guys, and hopefully we'll get uh, some metal cut uh, maybe in the middle of next week. So, peace out.